Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Lee Koning. I'm a PhD student at the Department of Computer Science, University of Southampton. My supervisors are Dr. Thuy Dung Nguyen, Dr. Alan Jiam Ko from University of Southampton, and Dr. Long Tran Tang from University of Warwick. Today, I'm going to present to you the paper, Last Round Conversion and No Dynamic Regret in Asymmetric Repeated Games. Uh, no regret algorithms such as multiplicative weights updates or FTIL are very popular in online learning community due to its average performance guarantees. So it's natural to ask uh, against this no regret algorithm, can a player exploit the structure of the algorithms? So in order to answer this question, we started repeated two player zero sum games where one player, the role players, follow a no regret algorithm. And we suggest a new algorithm for the clone players so that um, it achieves last law conversion for both players and no dynamic regret for the clone players. So let's uh, move to the, um, the setting of the games. So we consider repeated two players zero sum games. This game is described by a matrix A of dimension n times m when the entries of A is in the interval 0 to 1. The rows and columns of matrix A represent the pure strategy of the row and column players, respectively. If the row players choose the mixed strategy X and the column players choose a mixed strategy Y, then the payoff of the row players received will be minus X transpose AY when the column player will receive X transpose AY. Thus, the row player want to minimize the quantity X transpose AY when the column player want to maximize the quantity. Um, so it's, it's natural to study uh, the situation when uh, most players use a no regret algorithms. As we can see here in the simple matching penny games um, with the matrix of the game is symmetric. Um, and it can easily see that uh, the Unix NAS equilibrium of the game is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Uh, it, we can see from the figure uh, if both players follow the multiplicative weight updates algorithm, then the trajectories of the strategy will move away from the NAS equilibrium, which is the center of the figure, and towards the boundaries, um, the boundaries of the figure. Uh, it's in Bailey's and Paris uh, 2018 proof that in the case both players, both players use multiplicative weight updates algorithms then uh, the strategy will move away from uh, the NAS equilibrium and come towards the boundary um, of this game. So how can we tackle this problem? Uh, so in this paper, we consider a symmetric setting when the goals of the clone players are uh, achieved to achieve no dynamic regress and stable strategies, which means that um, the strategy of the clone player will convert to some fixed strategy. So in order to achieve the goals, we need to make uh, two assumptions. The first one is that the role players will follow a no regret type algorithms. This assumption is, is common and very easy to justifiable because in the situation when the role players doesn't have any more information about the game or doesn't know what type of algorithm the current player can use, then following a no regret algorithm will guarantee the best performance that he can, he can have. Uh, the second assumption is that the clone players can estimate his min mark or the NAS equilibrium of the game. So this assumption can arise in many applications in practice. It can arise in asymmetric games when the clone players know the metric of the game uh, and can use some techniques such as linear programming or self play in order to estimate the, his min mark equilibrium. Uh, Secondly, uh, the clone players can intentionally place a no regret algorithm against the role players and estimate his min max equilibrium of the game uh, while playing. So with this assumption, we come up with our main theorem, our main algorithms, last law conversion in asymmetric uh, LRCA. So LRCA has two uh, main important steps. So in the, the odd rows, um, the clone players will place a min max equilibrium intuitively by, by doing so, it can stabilize uh, the strategy of the role player so that in the even rows, it can exploit it. And then in the, if, then, and then in the even rows, the clone players will place a mix of the min max strategy and the bad response with respect to the last uh, feedback 
uh, to exploit the role players and the level of exploitation um, depends on how far away uh, the strategy of the role players um, to the min max equilibrium of the game, which is measured by fxd minus v. So with these um, algorithms, we come to um, analyze um, the performance of LRCAs against different no regress algorithms. So the first one we choose is um, a class of no regress algorithm with stability property. So a no regress algorithm of the comp uh, of the role players is stable if, um, in the case the column players place a min max strategy, then the strategy of the role player will not change. So uh, many algorithms have this stability property. Uh, Multiplicative uh, waste updates are follow the regulators. Regularized leader, FTIL, we have stability property if there is fully mixed uh, min max strategy in the game. Um, so with stability property, we come up with our first, uh, the first results, which saying that um, given the role players follow a stable uh, no grab algorithms, if the current players follow LRCAs, then um, the strategy of both players will come up very close to the min max equilibrium. Um, when the rate depends on the re the regret bound of the um, role player's strategy. And in the case of optimal regret bounds, square root of t, then the players will risk uh, epsilon mass equilibrium in at most one over epsilon to, to the power of four rounds. Um, we then provide a more refined analysis in the case when the role player follows a specific strategy such that um, multiplicative weight updates or linear multiplicative weight updates algorithms. Um, so in this case, uh, if the clone players plays LRCAs, then the strategy of both players will converse to the min max equilibrium, um, equilibrium of the game and then achieves last draw conversion. Uh, so as we can see in figure, um, um, the orange the orange trajectories converse nicely um, to the um, to the to the min max equilibrium of the game, which is as the center of the of the figure, and it's very different uh, movement comparing to the case when uh, both players use a multiple weight a bit, as we can see in the blue trajectory, and uh, we consider this um, with different learning rate. Uh, one is constant learning rate, uh, zero point five, and the other one is decreasing uh, learning rate. Uh, next, we provide um, the analysis of um, LRCAs in a more general um, class of uh, no regret algorithm, FTRL, which strongly convex regularizers. And then um, we provide a similar result saying that uh, when the current players follows LRCAs, then there will be last row conversion to the minimum equilibrium. Um, uh, we then, uh, because we know that uh, it is, um, in practice, it may be hard to guess um, a, a, an exact minimum equilibrium. So we consider the case when the column players only get access to the um, estimation of the min max equilibrium. Um, and then we saw that um, in this case, uh, the strategies of the players will converse to epsilon Nash equilibrium of the game, when epsilon will depends on the accuracies of uh, estimation of the min max equilibrium. And finally, uh, we provide the regress analysis for uh, LRCAs. Um, so given that the role players follow uh, the above mentioned no regret type algorithms such as uh, multiplicative weight updates, linear multiplicative weight updates, or FTRLs, if the column players follow LRCAs, then um, it can achieve uh, the dynamic regret of order t to, to the power of 3 over 4, which is sublinear. However, in the case that uh, the role players use constant learning rate mu, then we achieve state of arts um, dynamic regrets of t to the power of one, uh, one over two. Note that um, dynamic regress is much stronger concept comparing to uh, external regret when instead of comparing with the best fixed strategy in the hindsight, we compare with um, the best strategy in each round. So dynamic regret is much stronger concept comparing to external regret. And um, it's so that the regret we achieve by following LRCAs is actually much stronger. Um,
um, uh, yes. So um, following up the papers, we want to um, to further study um, um, the problem of last drop conversion and exploit a uh, no regret algorithm, uh, given the popularity of no regret algorithm in the community. Uh, thank you for listening.